Hi, uh, I've just been on CigarBoxNation.com and Paul from the UK has asked if anybody can post something about how to play uh, a Nirvana song. And he put a little link and I checked it and he's got that down as uh, My Girl Nirvana. In actual fact, I know that as In the Pines by Lead Belly. So uh, I'm just going to give an interpretation. This is tuned C, G, C. I'm going to, it doesn't matter about uh, what notes exactly you've got. The intervals are important. We've got a, a root on the bottom, which in this case is a C. In the middle, we've got the fifth note, which is one, two, three, four, five. And that's my G in the middle and an octave on the top, another C. So you need, that, that's the intervals. This is C, G, C, or root, fifth, octave. There's no third in, the, uh, in this tuning. So um, you can, it, it can be a bit uh, sort of either major or minor. And it has got a minor tune to it, a minor flavour to it. This tune, um, you can miss a lot of the changes out. Uh, the melody basically just uses the open, the seventh, fifth, and third. That's the basic melody construction of the whole song. That's all there is to it, and you can miss quite a lot of that out. What I'm doing here with it, you can strum your guitar, but try and keep that drone going. That's the important part of it, I think. And what I'm doing, uh, I've got a thumb pick on just to sort of punch the sound out a little bit, and I've got a cut in my thumb, which is protecting that a little bit. I'm sort of pinching with, with these two fingers and my thumb. So all three strings are ringing, or sometimes I'll just want the bottom and the, and the top. So that's what I'm doing with my right hand. You don't have to do that. You can just strum it, but I find when you pluck them all together, rather than strumming down you get all the notes hitting at the same time um, with the right hand you can fret it or you can put simple bar chords that's all I'm doing at the seventh fifth and third or you can do the same thing with your slide if you're using the slide be careful you're right above the fret right over right over the right over the fret Okay, and you can play the melody on the top string if you want. And to do that, what I do is I'll actually angle the slide away. And imagine I'm playing with the, sorry, the tip of my finger underneath the slide. So I'm going there down from the 7th, 5th, 3rd, open. That's all there is to the melody. And then if I pluck the bottom, keep the drone going on the bottom. Introduce the middle as a drone as well. And get that droney, almost medieval flavour to it. change out if I sort of sing or hum over it. Black girl, black girl, don't you lie to me. Tell me where did you spend last night? I didn't even put any changes on that same part, just kept the drone going. I'll miss the first change out this next time round. In the pines, no change of the pines, where the sun never shines. I shivered the whole night through. I'm just filling there with a little bit of noodling. Uh, I'm doing a bend at the third fret on the bottom string. And coming back onto plucking on the middle. Open. So I'm bending on the third on the bottom. Plucking open on this middle string. 
and then going back onto the open on the bottom. That, that little move, that's that country sounding little run, is going is a slide from the second to the fourth on the bottom. I'm going open, then open, second, open on the top. And then if you play the middle note, so the middle string at the fifth fret here, you've actually got a unison. You've got three octave C notes. And if you go down a semitone or a tone, and then semitones, you can sort of get that tension in the sound. That's going down a full tone, two frets. Then going down a fret, another fret. Then we resolve out by playing the middle string open. I'll go down just a semitone at a time. That's that bend on the third again. Then you can do some other stuff. This is all on the middle string. If I go to the third and then a hammer up to the fifth. And I'm, with that I'm plucking the top two string, the middle and the top. Then I can go down a semitone and hammer a semitone. And again. Bend on that third. Going that, that hammer, then I'm going up with my first finger onto the third fret. Got a little chord going there. I'm just noodling about playing those notes on the middle string, nowhere else. To me, tell me where did you spend last night? The other thing, when I was using the slide, I wasn't sliding it much, I was going to the note right over the fret on each occasion to the, uh, the seventh, the fifth, and the third, right on the money over the fret wire. Sliding that much, quite punchy and staccato. So I'm lifting and damping with my right hand to stop it ringing as a, between the changes. So I'm lifting the slide very gently as a. So I'm not. A, I'm not doing that. I'm actually. And I'm just choking the string. By letting that part of my hand make contact. So I've got my hand on the bridge and I'm just letting the heel touch to get a nice clean transition. Black girl, black girl, don't you lie to me. Remember, that's all the moves there are in that. Seventh, fifth. That's all you need to be. As I say, you can miss a lot of those changes out. Keep that drone going. Pick all the three strings together. There's the phone. I'd better go. Have fun with it.